My name is Martin Brook, and I'm your Bloomfield Township Clerk. As clerk, I receive a lot of questions about voting. Today, I'll answer one of those questions. What are some rules I should know when casting my state primary ballot on August 2nd? First, I urge people to remember that the ballot is divided between partisan and nonpartisan sections. In the partisan section, the law requires that a voter must only vote in either the Democratic or Republican race. If a voter casts a ballot that does not follow this rule, all votes in the partisan section will not be counted. Any votes in the nonpartisan section, however, would still be valid. Let me give you an example. If you vote in the Republican column for governor and then vote in the Democratic column for U.S. Congress, all of your votes in the partisan section won't be counted, not for governor, not for Congress, and not any other of the partisan races. Another set of rules to remember pertain to write-in voting. In each race, a blank or several blanks are on the ballot to write in candidate names. To be valid, you must do three things. First, indicate the candidate in a manner sufficient for your intent to be ascertained. For instance, if I were running as a write-in for governor, a person could write M. Brook, or Martin Brook, or Marty Brook, and any of those would be sufficient. Second, you must write the name in a space provided for the correct race. For instance, if writing in a Republican for governor, it would not count if you wrote that name under a space for U.S. Congress, for instance. Third, you must fill in the oval next to the name you wrote down. Fail to do any of these things and your write-in will not be counted. Also, the candidate must have timely and properly filed a declaration of intent in order for it to be a valid write-in candidate. Any person who has not done this cannot be elected even if the majority of votes are cast for that person. This is a legal requirement that prevents Mickey Mouse from being elected governor. More questions? Contact my office. 248-433-7702. And remember, keep your registration up to date and always exercise your right to vote.